What's up? What's up? What's up? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Hey, look, in 10 minutes, I'm going to explain to you exactly why men in the modern era do not want to deal with you. So listen close, pay attention. Stop being so stubborn and hard and you might just get something from this. Five main reasons why men do not want to date in the modern era. Number one, you are argumentative. Your inability to communicate, which in turn means listen, process, and be receptive, has been rudimentarily removed from your brain for whatever reason yourself centered you're egotistical you do not feel the need to want to have any empathy or respect for the party involved they want to express and lay ground rules and boundaries you want to kick them to the curb they want to have respect given to them you want to kick them to the curb you do not have any morals in terms of how you carry and conduct yourself in representation of that man. You only look at them as an object, as a piece of jewelry around your neck to keep you warm during the wintertime. That's just number one. Your inability to communicate is horrible, as e especially as often as you say you're good at communication and you demand communication and you want to be heard and you, you want them to open up. No, you don't. You don't want to hear the truth. You don't want to hear the raw, honest truth about your behavior. You don't want to be held accountable. You don't want nobody pointing out your inconsistencies. You just want to be a spoiled little girl in a grown adult body. Let's get into number two and why men are avoiding you. You're liars. You get men arrested, falsely accused uh, for essay and touching inappropriately and flirting and you're resentful and spiteful. You're nefarious. You sneak out of the relationship and you have multiple children out of wedlock with other people and then you go years and years and years without revealing the truth that this person is not the parent and you have them spending all of their money on a life that is not even a part of them in the first place. You don't know how to be honest. You don't know how to really sit there with yourself and say, am I really a woman of God? Am I really operating from the fundamentals that make a woman a woman? You're not, you're not sociable. You're, you're not feminine. You're very masculine. You're picking up all of these attitudes and attributes that are woven in men throughout history. And you get upset and wonder why a, a man is not trying to deal with another man. Men do not want to deal or compete with their woman. Men do not want to come home to argue with their woman. Men do not want to deal with women who are completely out of order mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. I just have to say that. I don't care about all of the extra. <laughs> Your sexual prowess is not going to get you or land you a husband. Your ability to shake your ass is not going to land you a husband. Your ability to throat, goggle, spit and rinse is not going to keep 
a man respecting you for a long period of time is only temporary. That's only for fun. That is not the end game. The end game is marriage, a foundation, a home, kids, a husband, a ring, peace, protection, covering. But you are operating from this version of life in the world where everything is quick and everything is just money based and everything is just I need this now. I need this now. What can I get out of you? What can I get out of this person? The bigger, better deal. That's all this is about. Bigger, better deal. Let's get into the next one. <laughs> one of the main reasons why you cannot keep a man. Your own social media is showing your body off to the world. You have no temperance. They have no self-control. You're attention sinking. You get bored easy. You don't know how to separate the world from the privacy of your home. Everybody has to be in your business. Everything involving social media has to be a part of your relationship. You can't keep nothing to yourself. You're always comparing yourself to the next person. That's not going to work. And you keep getting on social media, whining and complaining about your failed marriages and your failed relationships and how men are only there for one reason and this, that, and the third. But look at your track record. Look at your history. Look at it. Look at all of it. Stop acting like you didn't get trains ran on you. Stop acting like you didn't get trauma bonded, screwed. Stop acting like you didn't get ran through by a whole bunch of dudes sleeping with people, family members and cousins and stepdads. And stop acting as if your, your life from the past wasn't purpose. You did stuff. And you didn't reap what you sowed from a lot of it. A lot of your past is still at the door waiting to come in to pay you back for it the foul shit that you did to people. You didn't address it. You didn't take care of what you needed to. Because you're avoiding accountability. This one right here is probably one of the most important ones that women tend to ignore the most. And you play around with it the most. Your relationship or lack thereof with God. Do you have one with him? Truly? Do you really respect the, the word? Do you really respect how he feels towards you? Do you love him the way that he loves you? Can you really sit here and say you are a representation of the most high the way that you live currently, by the way you talk, the way you walk, the way you dress, the way you think, the way you operate, the way you carry yourself in public and off camera. Are you a representation of that? Do your children honor that? Are you with your child's fathers? Are you doing everything within your power to keep nuclear homes together? Are you doing the things that you complain and require and request out of men? I'll wait. <laughs> What's up with all these prerequisites? Let's go ahead and get into this last one, man. There's plenty of them, but I wanted to give you a real quick rundown of what's really happening here. So, I gave you the main ones. This is why men do not want to deal with you. You ask us for everything. You want our money, you want our time, you want our muscles, you want our appearance, our look, you want us to dress a certain way, you want us to work at certain places, you want us to travel the world and explore space, you want us to go to the bottom of the ocean and come back to resurface on the land where everything is just astronomically ridiculously overpriced you want our time 
even when we don't have the time we're at work 80 hours or 100 hours a week you want you want that time plus extra time you want us to shut up don't complain don't say nothing you you don't want us to have boundaries you don't want us to have more you want to be superman you want us to have this laundry list of things you don't want us to fart in front of you you don't you don't want us to act ignorant in front of you but you want us to act ignorant in front of you you want us to be belligerent but you want us to be courteous and kind you don't want us to open doors for people but you want us to open doors for you you want us to do this you want us to do that and you want us you have all of these laundry list things want us to do and when we want and desire the things that we need you don't give two shits about what we want damn we have to work 80 times harder to get your time perfection some sex we got to do everything under the sun that man created (laughs) from the beginning of times We, we have to reinvent the wheel we have to create fire and shit we gotta do all of that just for you to even get moist and want to even reproduce with us what are we talking about here oh shit here we go again you don't want us going outside of our race but you want us to stay in our race and not have sex or have any relationships you don't care about us stepping out of our relationships. You don't care if we step and go into different orientations with um, different ethnic backgrounds. But then you're like, we don't need you anyway. We wasn't checking for you anyway. Bye, 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 bye. But you still complaining because you still want all of the. No, you're too fucking demanding. You're too demanding. You're not humble. You're narcissistic. You don't bring nothing to the table other than your box which is used you don't care about men your women don't care about women because you don't say nothing to the women who say they don't care about men you don't check the women who create the fucked up issues that we have in the first place your horrible representations you don't stand on any principles or morals you lead people down the paths of destructions you cause people suicide depression you cause men to fight against each other you cause beefs and unnecessary issues and then you hide your hands after you threw the rock the problematic you're not bringing peace into the home you don't want to do the things that men require but you want everything i hope that helps like share subscribe to the channel uh yeah if you don't want to conform or you just feel like you know you're too good and too special then shut the hell up and stop asking and begging or trying to manipulate and create arguments where they don't exist because in your eyes you don't care about us anyway You only want a certain percentage of men in the first place. So why are you? They don't even want to deal with you. But I digress.